dude what in the world I'm not sure if you guys could see this but this has fingerprints all over it <laughs> Welcome back everyone to Skincare and Beauty with Perky Perkins where I do a lot of unboxings, skincare, makeup tutorials, and I also do product reviews along the way. So today I'm finally back. I'm sorry I've been gone for a week at this point or just over a week, but it's been a difficult week. <clears throat> Let's just say that. Starting off with I burned my arm the other day and then I had a flood in my bathroom so it's been chaotic and it's it's been it's, yeah it's it's been tough but anyways today i'm here to show you guys what i got in both my boxy charm base box and my boxy charm premium so for those that don't have BoxyCharm or just would like a refresher, BoxyCharm is a subscription box which has three different options actually. The first one being the base box and this is $25 a month and it comes with it comes with five full-size items and supposed to have a minimum value of $120. Now, the premium box in order to get the premium box you must be already a base box member to join the wait list the bigger box and it's supposed to have six to seven full size items and with a minimum value of 175 dollars now for the third level that is boxy lux boxy lux is only offered every third month which is basically an extra upgrade to this guy right here. So every third month, if you choose, you can do the Lux box, which gives you eight to nine full-size items, and they're supposed to have a minimum retail value of $250 for that box. Now again, it's optional. It's an additional $24.99, so basically $50 for that box box for that particular month but you don't get your regular small box so just so you're aware now also I do apologize for the sniffling I woke up feeling I was I woke up very congested I've been cleaning with bleach and stuff because of the flood in our bathroom that I had to really disinfect and yeah so I woke up really really not feeling that great but anyways, so let me stop rambling. Let me show you guys what I got because honestly, these boxes have gone through it. It literally was lost for a few days and it finally showed up to my home yesterday. These were supposed to arrive since Saturday and they arrived on Wednesday evening. So they've been through it. But anyways, let me get started with my base box because oddly enough, this one feels much heavier than the premium box, which is kind of scary when you think about it. Like, I haven't had the best of luck with BoxyCharm as a late. Like, they've had like so-so boxes for me. But let's open her up. I already don't like the smell of this box. Like, I can legit smell it. Look at it. So I think this, there's no card here, you guys, so I do apologize, but this is, um, it's from um, Ama Beauty Care, Dead Sea Mineral, Dead Sea Mineral Plus Vitamin C Serum Makeup Remover Wipes. I can't smell it, but... There's 25 towelettes, which is nice, but personally, I'm not a big makeup white fan, so I'm gonna set these aside, because I just, I try not to use makeup wipes to remove my makeup. Like, I still have the bag I got, I think it was Christmas or January. 
um, from BoxyCharm because I just don't use them very often. In my experience, they tend to dry out my skin quite a bit. I got the Pretty Vulgar um, eyeshadow primer, which has a 12 month shelf life. Now I do like Pretty Vulgar, but I currently have a favorite, which is my Gerard Cosmetics. Um, but I mean, I know overall Pretty Vulgar has really good products, so I will definitely save this for future use and see how I like and then they sent me the Glam Glow Berry Glow Probiotic Recovery Mask. Now this, I definitely do not mind that I got this, and I know this item alone is valued at $50, so that's pretty cool. I do like Glam Glow products. I haven't been able to get anything in a while. Oh, this smells delicious. Look at that. Gorgeous. It reminds me of a very berry smoothie from Jamba Juice, which I miss so much right now. Bar of soap. Why am I getting a bar of soap? Like, I'm sorry. Daily Concepts. Plant-based vegan. Smells nice at least. It's wrapped up kind of weird. It's very sticky. I'm not usually a bar a soap kind of gal. I'm going to ask my husband if he likes it and maybe I'll give it to him. But this says in the back that it uh, has avocado, cactus, and aloe. What's funny is I think my friend, which I watched her unboxing yesterday, her name is um, Miss Queen Bee. She did a live yesterday unboxing and I swear, I think now remembering, I think we both got the same items because she also got this palette right here. This is the studio makeup. It says easy to wear eyeshadow palette. Dude. What in the world? I'm not sure if you guys could see this. But this has fingerprints all over it. The pans are off by a bit, like they're lifted. This is a very cheap, cheap eyeshadow palette. And my friend did swatch it and there was no pigment like i have my la girl i even commented on her live i'm like oh my god that looks like my la girl um nudes palette except i paid four dollars for my nudes palette and it has more pigment than this guy right here and this one i'll try to post a picture since it's really hard to tell on camera i'm not sure if you can see that but I'll post a picture, so I'm not gonna swatch it in this video because this is just this is just gross in my opinion. There's literally fingerprints on the shimmers, there's scratches on the mats, and there's like this little weird residue right on this guy right here. You can see that little dark patchy spot, so I'm not down for that. I'm not putting that on my eyes like overall the colors are nice and neutral i would have been like oh, all right I'll, I'll work with it but no not if it looks like it's been contaminated especially with everything going on in this world next let's do my boxycharm premium since there's no card on that i can't total it up i'm gonna assume it's over 120 bucks this premium card the premium box does have a card thankfully um and this month's theme i guess was mother nature and god i literally got a shit variation baddington beauty powder and contour brush which is a joke they retail supposedly for 90 dollars. i've gotten better makeup brushes for 90 dollars. boxycharm if you ever watch my video how about for $90, you could get us an entire eye set or face set of the Hank and Henry Beauty brushes, which are amazing. But look at these two brushes. They're not hefty whatsoever. This is like very lightweight. The bristles feel nice by all means. 
but this is not $90 worth. I'm sorry. Now, I love brushes, so I will keep them, you know, like maybe this would be good for contouring, but this is not $90. This is my Hank and Henry brush, which I just used, but this is nice and hefty, a wood handle, really great synthetic bristles. This is also synthetic and it's like, you're telling me these are each $45 while Henry sells his for, I think the big, the most expensive is this one for $19. Which one would you guys rather have? The Hank and Henry or the Baddington? Let me know in the comments below. And hopefully BoxyCharm, let me preach. Please get us a Hank and Henry brushes and girl, we will be happy. We will all it says Pure Heels Sintel 90 Ampule Serum. Ooh, I do like serums and I do like um, ampules. This is a soothing serum containing 90% Sintel Acetic extract relieves irritation of sensitive skin and straightens the skin barrier the serum contains uh, ceramide 3 which helps straighten damaged skin moisturizes barrier and keeps skin clear of external environmentals so it must it must have like blue light technology so personally it's 28 dollars also retail so that i think is very reasonable definitely um Ooh, it's a K Beauty product. Ooh, yeah. Okay, this I'm definitely ex. Oops. This I'm definitely excited to try out. I recently began trying different ampoules, and I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but I did begin trying some other ones out, and I have really enjoyed them. And I've noticed that they have begun um, helping my skincare and clearing a lot of my acne because it has been really, really bad. So I'm definitely excited to try this out and add this to my routine because that's the great thing about these products. You can layer it within other serums, moisturizers, oils, and things of that sort. So that's great. The Tarte, not Tarte, Sugar Rush by Tarte, Best Bud Lip Butter Balm. Now, I usually do not like getting lip balms in subscription boxes by all means, you guys, but I love the packaging and this is super, super cute. Um, this is in shade Pony. Luckily it has a 12 month shelf life, so that's really good because right now Fresh Beauty has hooked me up quite a bit lately and I literally have lip balms for months, for months. So um, I won't be able to get through this very soon, but this has such adorable packaging. And it's just so cute. I'm like literally gonna just put it in my little, in my vanity area, just for a cute little centerpiece. It's adorable. Let me see what it smells like. Now my senses are a little off, but it smells like vanilla cake batter. So that's kind of cute. But anyway, this is my actual first milk makeup product, which is a bummer. This is the Glow Oil Lip and Cheek. I don't know why I would get two lip products, basically. I have begun to really, really enjoy lip oil, so I will give them that. Um, this is considered full size. This is $15. The Sugar Rush was $12, you guys. Oh, that's nice. It has like a protective seal, so I'm not going to break that since I'm not going to get to it for a bit, but it does have a protective seal. I've seen plenty of people reviewing these this product and oh, I just dropped it. But anyways, I've seen plenty of people review the milk um, lip and cheek oil and everyone has said so far that it's great for the lips, but it's not looking too good for the cheek. So I will see how I feel about it. Um, testing it out. Maybe there could be other applications than just dabbing it on to your um, on top of your makeup, maybe I can make it work. But again, I have enjoyed the lip oils. Now I wish it would have been a different product, like maybe a cream cheek product. That would have been awesome because I'm loving, loving, loving cream products right now. The next thing I got was the Too Faced 
chocolate gold sole bronzer and i think this is the shimmery formula until i see it really pretty packaging this retails for thirty dollars this actually looks really pretty honestly like smells really nice and it has a nice mirror kind of feels cheap but it has a mirror um personally it's not too gold so i will definitely give this a go and try it out i don't mind shimmer in my bronzer actually in fact the bronzer i use today is my kosas and it does have that slight kind of shimmer warmth to it so i don't mind them especially in the summer because i tend to do really light makeup because it tends to get really hot in the bay area and um, it just gives that you know sun-kissed look so i don't mind trying this out and seeing how i like it i'm not going to just write it off from the beginning now if it was like that nars gold looking one oh my god i would not have done that because that's too gold in my for me for my tasting and then next is kevin aquan i will say i'm excited to try this out because i just got my first kevin aquan product which was his bronzer and it's also shimmering so that's pretty cool um but this is his um the expert mascara this one i've seen mixed reviews on it so i'm interested to try it out i've heard it's more on the dry side which personally i like that i don't like it when it's so wet and it gets everywhere because i have a hard time being that i have hooded eyes and i have high cheekbones that when i put mascara if it's more of a wet formula it gets on my um, cheek area here and sometimes on my eyelid again because of hooded eyes the packaging is very stunning you know kevin aquan is known for his beautiful packaging so i'm glad to be able to try this i really wish i could have gotten the pretty vulgar a few months back but i'm really excited to try this out and see how i like it since i'm back down to one new mascara instead of having like That's six all the items i received and i almost forgot this is variation 44 for premium again i don't have my card for boxy my boxy base box so i have no clue what <laughs> variation i have there but i have really mixed emotions when it comes to both my boxes there's definitely a few items that i will definitely enjoy um but there's also a lot of items that i do not like i'm very disappointed with this um studio makeup palette like when i saw my friends live yesterday okay i thought maybe that's a fluke it can you know it can happen but now we live in different parts of the country and for my palette to also have issues and her palette i'm curious how many others are having issues this is definitely a quality control issue where there's fingerprint scratch prints and the pans are not sitting flat like once tilted up the this it feels really cheap honestly i feel that this is exactly i'm gonna actually give me one second let me go get my palette all right you guys so uh, i do apologize i'm getting worse at the minute but anyways so this palette is much cheaper in packaging and quality in my opinion compared to my ellie girl and look at the size difference this was 3.99 at ulta i got it on sale but its normal price was like 7.99 i mean come on look at this like seriously many of these colors look identical like anyways but yeah so personally i feel that they try to either a rip off la girl and then put a higher price tag because i just remembered my friend had said that she pulled up the price and it was like 24 dollars or something like that and la girl's less than 10 dollars 
you know, I got mine for less than five actually, and it had great pigmentation. In fact, I will post my link below for the tutorial I did with this palette versus the swatches that my friend did. And I'll link her video below as well. It's a short live that she did doing her unboxing, but it's like the quality's not there. And this supposedly is $24 and the manufacturing and quality controls horrible mine is a few months old and it still looks so much better than the l than this uh studio whatever palette so let me ask you guys this as my final question do you guys feel that either a the studio makeup did their palette in the same factory most likely as la girl or B, they just try to straight up rip them off. You tell me. But anyways, again, I've already said I have mixed emotions when it comes to both my boxes. Definitely some gems and definitely some duds in my opinion. Do I feel that I got my money's worth? Again, I'm very torn. Um, my base box because of the simple fact that these two items i i do like i do like these two items it's kind of a win so that that made for the box that's where i'm getting at for the premium box these are no dang 90 dollars okay let's say they're 20 bucks i'm gonna say that i'm gonna say that's 20 bucks I do like this serum, even though I was bitching about having too much skincare, I do, I, because I've been recently trying ampoules, I am excited to try this out. This is freaking adorable, so I like this. So premium, actually not thinking about it, I did like most of the items in premium, you know, so it's not that bad, like, you know, it's okay, like, it's not the most wowed, but it's okay. You know, I just, one thing was really a dead for me, which was the milk, um, lip and cheek. It's kind of like, eh, I really wish it would have been like a cream blush. That would have been perfect, you know, but anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I'm sorry. I'm a bit on the stuffy side. So, but I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Please remember to take care and before you guys head out maybe give me a little like on the video and if you haven't subscribed please make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit all to my notifications i'm trying to continue working out a schedule that works between me and my family and fixing repairs in my bathroom since i have to do a lot of the the labor and <laughs> you know what i mean so anywho Thank you all so much. You guys have a beautiful day and I will catch you all very soon. Goodbye.